All right, we're going to keep working on some subtracting with regrouping. But this one, there's something special and different we're going to look at. So I have 205 minus 116. So I start on the one side. You have got to always start on this side. Even though I think I know this answer, it's probably going to change because of regrouping. So you have to start on the right-hand side. So I have 5 minus 6. The bottom is larger than the top. That will not work, so I have to borrow. But look, when I go to my tens place, I have a zero. I can't take anything from zero. So instead of looking at just zero, I'm gonna look at this whole 20. So I'm gonna borrow from 20 instead. So I'm gonna make, if I have one less than 20, this whole thing now becomes 19, and this becomes 15. So now I can subtract like normal. So I have 15 minus 9, or 15 minus 6 is 9. Then I have 9 minus 1 is 8, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So my answer is 88. Okay, so that's called borrowing across 0. So let's try another couple so you can get this down the pat. Say I have 409. 406 minus 238. Okay, 8 is bigger than 6, so I cannot subtract, so I need to borrow. Look here in the tens place. It's a 0. Not going to work. So let's borrow from 40. So 1 less than 40 is now 39. This becomes 16. 16 minus 8 is 8, 9 minus 3 is 6, 3 minus 2 is 1. So again, I borrowed from that 40. Rather than just 0, I borrowed from the 40 and made it 1 less. Alright, let's try one more. Five hundred and one minus two sixty seven. Seven bigger than one. So I must borrow. My tenth spot is a zero. So now I gotta do something tricky. I can't take anything from zero. So now I'm going to take it from 50. That 50 becomes 49. This becomes 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. So I'm stuck, I have 234 as my answer. So again, bottom number's bigger, I borrow. But if I run into a tens place with a zero, then I'm gonna borrow from the hundreds and the tens together, which is at 50. Take one away from 50, four and a nine, move the one to over here, make it 11, subtract down. Okay, slightly more complicated, but I think we can figure it out. So you're going to do a couple of these at practice, take your time, do your best, make sure you're borrowing, doing exactly like I did on here. And if you need to, if you get stuck, go back and watch part of this again, okay? You'll be able to see an example of how to do it, okay? Take your time, do your best, and I expect this to be great because you're awesome.